All right, here we go. Going back with another open box video. What do we got this time? The title already said it. Let's see what we're working with here. These are some rear door weather stripping for my Caprice. So this is for a four door. I got these off eBay. They're the cheapest ones I could find. They actually had raised the price on them, but then I was just seeing that at one time there was a set that was that was $69. And I was like, yeah, what's up with that $69 set? And they posted them back up again for me. And I bought them. And then they were sold out. So yeah, it was um cover my address we don't need no y'all weirdos hit me i'm just kidding convertible top convertible top specialist i think it's on ebay they had them for like 89 but then they also had them for like 69 but like i'm saying the 69 dollar ones were sold out all right so we got the rear doors that's good uh, the only reason I'm really putting them on right now is because this box is just sitting here. All right, so here's the part number. I don't know. Maybe you could do a search on the internet and find them for cheaper. I don't know. KG3025 and uh, 032923, whatever all that means. All right, so I probably have open the wrong one here because I have the car facing a certain direction this is where it's going to get worked on if I do this right now which I might not but I guess when the video is seen it'll look like I just did it right after all right yeah yeah I'm not the biggest the biggest fan of this one right here it's in the back, so it's okay. I just was like, I'm not gonna touch it. But it's not really that good. And I'm fixing another leak in here. That's another story that's coming from the firewall. It's another story. But uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. I was gonna say it's not that bad, but you know, I've seen worse. All right, so I just wanna see I got the right side out right now. One thing at it's one thing at a time around here. Let's make sure we got the right piece and let's make sure we're putting it on the right direction. Cause that alright. This part's gotta sit in the window. Okay, okay, there we go. Now we just gotta figure out which way it's facing here. like it goes that that's got the okay okay this might be this side right here actually because it's got the this one straight down this one's got a some type of degree bend okay here we go let's match it up with the front now Let's see if I'm going the same direction here. Yep, I think I am. I think if you put them on the other way, it'll probably work too, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to just do it the same direction as I got the front ones on. And I think I did that correctly. Hopefully I did. front ones I just feel like they need to get pulled some but they're in place pretty good I mean very good so 
So check out my other video for that. If anyone watching? Um, yeah, I don't have the best car here, so you know, I feel like it's already starting to wear some. Like you can see rest spots here, and yeah, I would say it looks like it's starting to crack already, because it kind of looks like it's starting to crack already, but it's definitely soft. But I'm probably not helping by when I'm pushing it up against. This is like pretty rusty and nasty looking. So it lasted like a million years already. So I'm hoping it'll give me like 10 years or something. And probably maybe I'll put some type of rubber protector on it or something. I don't know. They're pretty cheap. So, all right. I got everything I need in front of me. No, I don't. I need some screwdrivers. Oh, do we got to do this again? I'm gonna like pull these all out together. How much battery life do I have here? I need a screwdriver. Yeah, let's uh, t let's turn this off right now and I'll go gather the tools and stuff and come back. All right, here we go. Let's get it. I'm gonna replace this weather stripping. Yeah. I wanted to get it all at once and I will. So, gonna try to pry it out here try to get it all at once if I can Ooh, that's dirty that's dusty y'all might even want to wear a mask for this it's been trapped in there since 79 I guess uh, have to vacuum the whole interior after this Get this Let's get chunks of this out of the way. I've been wanting to take this part off. This is a uh, been just nasty the whole time. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, I didn't want to. Well, it doesn't matter. I forgot one of the tools I needed, and that is probably a little vice grip. Good job. Cool. All right, we're doing this as easy as possible, I think. It's crunchy. Let's get that out of here. I mean, yeah, get it all off if at the same time as you can, but sometimes it's like get out of my face though. So. All right, be careful when you, there's a little metal piece here. I don't know if it's part of the door or part of the old weather stripping. So we're gonna, we're just gonna put it off to the side. I didn't see that on the front ones at all. I'm gonna just scratch. I'm not even scratching the paint. I'm just kind of on top of this old. We definitely want some eye protection if it's this dusty. I actually just grabbed it so I could, just in case I hit my eye. You know, sometimes you'll be prying with a screwdriver and it'll come right back at you. It's not very fun. Looks like it's a little rusty on the top of this door. Well, good thing I don't really care. Yeah, that's a good thing. That is a good thing about this car is like, I just don't really care too much about any of the problems it has. It all started off with when I bought it and the wheel wells were cut. That's when I pretty much gave up. 
I said, well, this car is just gonna be a junker. I'm not fixing that. I thought I was gonna fix it, but I don't think, now I don't think I am. Reality set in. Hopefully people can see this. I could be going faster. Could I? Maybe. I'm not gonna even do the best job here. I'm just not. I'm gonna get most of this out, which you should definitely do. You could spend all day and you probably wouldn't be able to get it all out. You could re-put more weather stripping adhesive if you want to. I'm probably not gonna put any. If it's gonna give me a hassle, I'm just gonna go right around it probably. There's probably some way you could really remove this stuff like with some special remover or something. Just depends on your situation and how clean you wanna get it. I basically just don't want wind coming in the doors and I don't want water coming in the doors. I wanna get as much of this off as I can, but that's just what it is. It's all gonna be fine. It's gonna be nice and happy. And it's gonna be better than it was. But I mean, you do wanna get as much as you can out. Like I'm saying, if you're worried about scratching something, just get like a plastic one or pay someone to do it. They're probably gonna do exactly what I'm doing. Whew, there goes the dust. You want to get it out of the channels though because that's where it's going to sit. I'm not going to put weather strip adhesive back in here just because I don't feel like it. I know most people aren't going to do it. I don't feel like I have to do it. I feel like seal is good enough. It might be fun getting this part all out. You do, that's what I'm saying, you do want to get as much as you can all together. Like peeling a label off a cardboard box or something. Just a little bit at a time, pull it all together if you can, but it's probably not gonna be possible. There's some type of plastic piece here that I'm not quite familiar with at the moment. It looks stock, maybe. Mm -hmm. All these are gonna be required to be pulled out by hand, I guess. Like this. Or you could cut them. That's why I brought the little side things. You could cut them and then get them in the door. I don't really want them all in the door. get it to the right size it's fairly simple no see that one broke but you push it in the door and then it gets fished out later so you want to get as much as you can but some of them are gonna break it's from 1979 or whatever year your box is so I'll plan for this probably just use pliers or some type of grip of my jigs whatever you got just... okay get out of here lots of remnants on the ground let's get it let's get it Be careful is uh that's what I'm trying to do. The airplane. 
I didn't know I was laying down right here with the camera. Just be careful. Don't bang your elbow too hard. You know, don't be in a rush. It might slip. Mm -hmm. you hit your elbow on the ground. Yeah. It's all part of the game. Alright. Got another one right here. There we go. And there they go. You could save them for another project or throw them in the garbage, whatever you want. I like to save stuff, so I'll just throw them in. Throw them right there for now. We still gotta get a little bit of this window channel clean, but I'm just gonna try to grab these out right now. I should have put this seat up some. And try not to bang the interior. That's what I'm saying. If your car is too clean. I don't know, it just depends what you want to do. Like, you could cut these and just poke them on the inside of the door panel and just fish them out later. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to scratch or do any of this also. You could use this because then it doesn't lock on you every time, but you actually might want it to lock because, you know, you go flying, it's not good. You pick what you want to do. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with these right now. Just do, you could do a little pride like that. Like I said, it just depends how clean your car is and how good you are at not scratching stuff. My car's already scratched and beat up. I could really just really go bad on it if I wanted to. Anything I do to this car makes it better. So, there's that. Might be close up in there like this one is gonna take a few. Uh, few injuries of the wrist before it gets out. Alright. I think all those are out. Now we gotta see how much extra. That looks pretty good right there, actually. Gotta get the rest of this. We need to get as much of this out as, uh, as we can. They put it on thick right here. I have to vacuum this interior again. I guess, probably. See right here like if I have to go up here with the screwdriver towards my eyes you definitely want to wear or sit in here makes it hard to see I can't see anything actually but you can see how that could slip and hit you
So I'll probably just leave the one side undone. <laughs> Keep it a hundred, Mike. Yeah, I'll probably just not do the other side. No, I'm just kidding. Yep, so this screwdriver is a little too big for that channel, but right here might do good. So yep, just want to get that as clean as you can. Because we need, we need to be able to sit the, having some of this weather stripping adhesive left in there is okay, but we want to get all this nasty old foam out and stuff that's like sitting in the channel. Like if sitting in the channel where, where the, where the weather strippings have to grip, that's not good. Like pretty much all around here, we got it pretty good. Like that, I'll just leave that probably. I'm like I'm saying, if you could get it off, then more power to you. Like that, we're gonna try to get that part out because it's in the channel. But you might be here all day if you're trying to get all that little, one's little strip of weather stripping adhesive off. Even there in the that foam, I mean, it's probably just adhesive that's left over, but. I mean, it's called for for a reason, so you probably do, probably a good reason to have it, but at the same time, like, you can see it lasted, but the weather stripping didn't. So right here, I probably got it good enough. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more off in here. It's just in the channel. And it fits in there like nice and snug. So definitely wanna give it its channel to sit in. It could probably work around it a little bit if it didn't have if it didn't get all of it, but you'll you'll feel better off just getting as much of it free as possible. So I'm just working on this upper part right here. Everything else seems to be pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with the rest of it. I'm gonna wash it out, but right here is we got a little bit of a. Someone put the weather stripping on thick, the uh, adhesive GM. They were like, it's not falling off this top corner. They were like, rip, but the weather stripping's not coming with you. Definitely looks like some rest a little bit here. I don't really care. Don't. Don't. That's the advantage of having a car that's in this condition. Is you could just say whatever. All right. It's not gonna go anywhere. But this little corner right here is, is withholding. Yeah, it's not gonna be pretty. Let's clean it up a little bit in here. mainly just going around this 
area. I'm probably doing more than most people are gonna do right here. But hey, it's a good time to get, it's a good time to clean it out to some degree, right? Even though I'm leaving more of this, I'm leaving more of this, uh, whatever you call this thing. The sponge is getting left behind more than the, anyway, doing what we can. It's not brain surgery, thank God, right? This patient would be dead. People just want to do stuff that's really going to happen, you know? People want to see how it's realistically done. This is, this is how it's realistically really done. It's all types of these things on here, that's good. Yeah, I might let this dry too, you know? Might, we might even do that. She probably don't have to. I don't know if we're gonna reuse this piece or not. It, I feel like it's part of the yeah, I just feel like it was, this piece we're gonna, yeah, that's good. Get the camera caught on the door. I don't know if this other side has this piece in there. I guess we're just gonna leave, we're gonna leave it cause it's stuck in there. Let's get right at it. We don't got time for this. We don't got no time for this. First, I'm gonna go, yes. This is, this is what we signed up for right here. You signed up for this? Well, not technically. Was there a sign-up sheet? All right, that's into there and that's into there. All right, we're done. Job done. You're gonna need this and don't, don't go side to side heck of fast or anything. Just, you don't wanna rip it. See, this is why you want to get as much as that lead clear. This is why you want to get that ledge clear as much as possible because you're going to have to come to this point where you got to tuck this into it. And if something's in it, it's not going to be that helpful for you. Now I'm going to have to go around like a couple times. I'm not going to have it all the way in on the first shot. So you might as well just, well, you gotta get it kinda in. You'll get an idea how to work it in there. But I'm saying it's, it's thick. It doesn't wanna go in like that. And if it goes in, it's staying in. Just like that. But see, it's not all the way in yet. A regular person would just leave like, yeah, got it in, but not nah, keep come back at it. Well, maybe it was, it wasn't, but maybe it was. It's in good enough to keep going around, but yeah, you probably will have to come back at it just like I'm doing again, just to make sure. Yeah. Don't plug these things in until you are ready to get at them because you don't want to have to you don't want to pull them out again you don't want to pull those out again you want to just pop them in and to be done so i'm gonna try to line them up all together so 
this side. Going in nicely. Nice, nice. But you gotta put this back side in too. That's why it was going so easily. So this top wind kind of just pushes in this this one this one here you got to get on both sides I think And this is fit so tight that it's like I don't I don't even need to put the weather strip adhesive I don't think oh, I'm not going to like I said I might want to get this out again depending on if I get another door or something so hopefully cameras aimed and everyone can see what's going on just just prying it in the sides here this should all line up now that's going to i don't even want to hit it up yet we're going to make sure we're all straight everything goes in at the same time with those oh my god come down here pop this in and try right there I left this little plastic piece in there. I don't really, oh, I'm not really sure of it. I'm not really sure of it actually. It looks like it might be, well, let's just pop this in. Let's do this, let's start from the top. not really allow me uh, I can't really tell what it's doing or why it's there I think it's gonna go I think that's part of the old weather stripping Be careful with this because you don't want to hit it in your face I'm gonna try to like keep this piece just like in case I've messed up here, but I don't think I did. I think that was a part of the original weather stripping. And they probably just like came a long way since then. All right. It's not reusable now. Yeah, I think that piece had to come out. If it didn't, then I guess we just made a mistake, huh? No, I don't think so. I think you did right, Mike. Just this part is like, I could see like a little, I could see some of these parts around the corner, maybe wanting a little bit of, uh, weather stripping adhesive in some situations I can see it like like maybe like right there or something but I'm not gonna do it all right good that's why we love your channel Mike actually no one said that all right let's try to straighten these up let's make sure we're, we're filming here because we're going in for the money money shot I think I'm also gonna need this to push these in. 
I'm gonna try to line these up. Line it up, push it in straight. Do one at a time, and this will stretch. You can stretch this to where it needs to go. Okay, on this. It needs to go up, so I'm just gonna stretch it up. Put it on straight. All right, hopefully people can see, but they know they can't. I'm gonna wrap this around here, because that's where we're coming to. Let's line these all up, right there. Line that up, straight on, pushing, straight on. Might have to come back in a second here and push it in further. All right, that straight. Do it, you wanna line it up straight. You don't wanna do it like sideways and have to pull it back out. If you pull it out, then it's gonna, that one I don't have in all the way. Neither do I have that one in all the way. There that one goes. This one, so you have to stretch that. That one. There's that. I don't know if you guys can see anything or not. A few of these I might have to come back to and push in all the way. You guys can see that. I'll try to do this one real live in the flesh. Get it straight up on it. Push it. All right, get that one straight up on it. Push it. Let's see, yep, it goes in. Then there's those two right there. And there's one right there. I'm gonna put my camera on my hand so I can use both hands here. I'll do this bottom one. This one. This one, stretch it up a little bit. On. See, I, I can see how I could use a little bit of whatever behind there if I needed it but I could add it at any time guaranteed I'm not gonna need it all right here with these bottom ones to just tighten these I'm just gonna push it up like that pretty good you could go around all of them if you wanted but it's probably on pretty good for the average person right if you did this like I just did it you probably be like yeah we're good all right that looks pretty good now I wonder if it's gonna close differently and like I said before, you could add some, if you do the weather stripping adhesive, you could probably put some back here if you wanted to tuck that in. I don't care if it moves or not. I want it to be going where it wants to go. Okay, now let's see how you gotta slam it. All right. Should be pretty good. I think that's about done. Now I just gotta do the other side, which I'll do that when it's turned around. That's how we work on this car. All right, I'd feel better if this had, I'm missing like my chrome and stuff, or my trim pieces up here and it's pretty nasty, so. I'll probably end up like cutting, <laughs> cutting my new weather stripping pretty quickly, but hopefully you guys get the point, not the point. Hopefully that helps someone out there get their weather stripping on. All right. So like I said, I got the rear for 70 and I had to got the front for, I think the front was cheap. The front was like 50. I got the front off Rock Auto and I got the rear off eBay. And I was price shopping too, so 
it's pretty much all the same. If you got a wagon, it should be the same as a four door, but you know, they're gonna charge more for the wagon. So you just gotta be, well, it just depends. Don't do your research, but it, it'd be like that. All right. All right, three out of four weather stripping. My Caprice, it might look like, it might look like a piece of junk. It might even be, but guess what? I almost got all my weather stripping and I got a trunk weather. I got trunk weather stripping and I got three out of four door weather stripping on them though. And I got to fix this leak that we have coming from the firewall. That's another story that's in progress already and pretty ridiculous. But anyway, there it is. This, see now the main reason I did this job was just because I had to do something with that box of weather stripping. I'm like, what am I gonna do with this box of weather stripping? There's so many boxes. I have so many things. It's like, if I could get rid of one box somehow, it definitely vastly improves the situation around here. So every time I sell something on eBay or throw something out or put a part where it belongs, it's like, I just created some shelf space so I did just buy these with the weather stripping though so all right Mike I'm out here let's get it I'll be back with the next one let's take one more look and you know after you do it you might have to come back and poke in a little piece here and there like that but yeah for everyone doing stuff for their self it's much better than paying a whole bunch of money to a shop unless you just got it like that then hey salute all right we'll be back <laughs> 